getting ready to pack. This man has been given the green light to leave tomorrow for Ukraine. I'm taking a military jacket. It was a hunter's jacket for very cold weather. This must be a sergeant, so I won't keep it. No signs of belonging to an army or anything. Thierry is a leading figure in France's Yellow Vest protest movement. He plans to give humanitarian assistance, but taking up arms isn't out of the question. It's Europe. Eastern Europe. We see the images. It's terrible. There are deaths, there are families, there are two million refugees. So I felt a call to go, to help them, to be able to do something. I used to protest against problems in France. There are problems in Ukraine, so I'll go there. Thierry has no experience of war zones. He's relying on his fellow travelers who specialize in emergency medical aid. They hooked up on social media but he doesn't know them yet. These volunteers have already set off. Like Thierry, they responded to President Zelensky's call. One of them fought in the French army and now works behind a desk. The other is doing a series of odd jobs. When you say to yourself that you have nothing left to lose and that you could be a part of it, then there's no reason not to go. There's really no excuse. We can help. They want to remain anonymous. Their families don't know that they are leaving to fight. It's an honor to be able to go and fight with them. I think that if one day this happened in France, I would be very happy if people from other countries came to help us. We'd be very happy to have them. Thierry and this small group of volunteer fighters hope to reach Lviv and then Kiev as soon as possible. Their local contacts promised them a hassle-free crossing of the Ukrainian border, but several days after their arrival, they were still blocked in Poland.